eShare is a web-based portal that allows you to access all project information via a 3D model, which is the hub and access point to all this information. Let's start by opening a 3D model for browsing. It's very easy to navigate in the 3D model to walk around the project and find all the data you need. All basic review functionalities are available, for example, making an object transparent, like in this example, a platform level. So by just pointing the cursor at any object, you can view customizable basic information about the object. And walking around the whole project allows you to check any part of the design or a specific design discipline. If you want, you can also navigate with a map, which is a very handy feature. Again, by clicking on a point in the map, you can jump to that area of the 3D model. Also, we can use predefined scenes to jump from one location to another. There is also a clip box functionality that allows you to limit the viewing area. So this allows you to see only a, a particular block or a unit or a specific compartment of the project. In this case, I'm uh, limiting the view to one area of the vessel. This functionality is particularly important when dealing with a big project and when you're interested only in a specific compartment or area. There are a lot of different ways to find information in the 3D model. One obvious way is of course the uh, walk around functionality. Another way is to use model trees or model structure. In this example, a simple structure can be found from the systems and pipelines that are defined in the project. You can switch also to one based on compartment information if you like. So this way you can find objects that are located in specific compartments, or you can switch to one that is based on the object materials. By simply clicking on an item, you can open it in the view where you can see the model attributes and metadata, production data and linked integrated systems. This can be PDM, PLM, Team Center or SAP. And status tracking information. Additionally, all linked documents are shown. All project documents are accessible through the same portal in the 3D model. You can browse all project related documents and select how to structure them. For example, you can create a structure based on the type of drawing. So like in this example, accommodation drawings, arrangement drawings, axonometric views, cable trays, coordination drawings, penetrations, or additional sketches. Let's open a coordination drawing in the system PDF viewer. Alternatively, this could also be a DWG file. In this case, it's a frame view with a lot of data. If we zoom a little bit closer, we can see that all the labels are blue, which indicates that they are links, so they are linked to the 3D model. Again, by simply clicking on the label, you can find the corresponding object in the 3D model and they check all the data related to this 3D object. We can also see a list of other drawings that contain this object. So we can open another drawing that contains the same object, in this case a system axonometric drawing. In the axonometric drawing we can click on the position ID which takes you back to the 3D view of the valve. It's naturally possible to find drawings such as spool drawings or isometric drawings of pipes in the same way. So here's an example where a spool drawing is opened. The linking is bi-directional from 3D to 2D and vice versa. So that makes it really easy for the user to find uh, an object in the model or in a drawing.
On top of the 3D data, you can add additional markups by simply clicking on the object and typing in your title for the markup. So you can add additional data on top of the 3D model, which will then be available for all project users. You can comment on changes needed or what kind of data will be added, add revision clouds or, for example, coordinates right on top of the 3D model. Once you've saved the markup, it's available for all project users and the latest markups are shown on the main screen. The markups can be edited further or commented on by other project participants. So you can, for example, add more dimensions from center line to center line and check dimensions, uh, which is important in this case. Besides the information stored in markups, there's also a lot of information in the 3D model that can be visualized in different colors. This can, for example, be different specifications and materials. And the legend at the bottom of the screen shows us what colors are used for which materials. Status tracking of any object is also possible in 3D. And we can also change the status if needed. By clicking on a piece of equipment, you can change its status. This is a really great way for people handling project management or change management to trace the status of items. Alternatively, this information can be loaded from external systems or even from a simple Excel file if you like. Color coding is again available here. With just one click you can see for example what is installed on board or what is still in the approval phase. Okay, let's now have a look at how you can access the 3D model with Ego on a Windows tablet. A colleague of mine will demonstrate it for us. When you need to go on-site or to a meeting, the eShare model can be loaded onto a Windows tablet for mobile access. This is a really good feature. You can navigate using simple touch gestures to find any location in the model. Here also in Ego, a map is available for the fast relocation. Or you can use predefined places to move between the scenes also. Adding annotation provides the possibility to define dimensions and give coordinate values and adding information labels to identify the case. And also changing the status of equipment from approved to installed. So you can gather and input information on site and then synchronize it with the server. Back in the server, we open the same model and navigate to the same location. We can see the status of this equipment has been updated. Now it's been installed and we can also see the color code indicating the status very clearly here. This way all the data is stored and also visualized in the model. The user can also define smart points, which can be linked to external systems, like a JIRA system for example, or any other change management system. It may be important for thickness measurements to be stored and loaded onto the 3D model for inspection purposes. And further for maintenance or asset management tasks, this can be linked with an online system tracing, like uh, in this case, pressure indicators and loading data to the 3D model. Any additional drawings can be stored in the model. Like in this case, the installation instructions for a heat exchanger can be added as an external document.